Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Spiritual Barbie. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, so this reading today is really special. It's called The Messages from the Empress. I've done these readings before, but I never uploaded it. I don't know, I just changed my mind. So I'm doing it a little different this time. I'm not going by signs. I'm just going to do one reading, right? And for the people who feel drawn to this message, you watch the message. If you don't feel drawn to the message or anything, you know, the title, you don't feel drawn to the picture that I'm going to put up as the thumbnail, then this isn't your message. But if you do, then there's a message in here for you. So today, I'm going to use rune stones as well as tarot cards and oracle cards, whatever. But I've never used rune stones on this channel. And I'm going to debut runes, okay? So I don't normally read runes, so I'm probably going to need to, like, look up some meanings. <clears throat> but I've done this a couple times on... Um, on my channel no not on my channel sorry I've done this a couple times in my like personal life like quite a quite a few times and I pull runes quite frequently not as frequently as I pull tarot cards and so I kind of know that that they what they mean I just I don't know I want to explain it in more detail and I don't want you to be confused okay so <clears throat> All right, so um, let's start with pulling a rune. I usually just let them fall out of the bag. Okay, so what message does the Empress have for us? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I do that a lot. <laughs> I kind of have a hard time, you guys. I am I'm a little unique. I don't know if you can already tell that, but I'm, I'm not trying to be all over the place just uh, life happened recently and it's kind of not messing with me but I don't know okay so <clears throat> what are these readings about <laughs> oh wow I feel like I just took you to like eight different places sorry about that but <clears throat> what are these readings about so the, the empress is like the divine mother she's like the queen of the um, universe okay she is the mother to all. She's mother to the trees, the grass, the animals, the humans, the um, planets. She's the mother to the universe. And so she's responsible for bringing in abundance. Obviously, a lot of people know the Empress for her abundant qualities, but a lot of people don't also don't know that the Empress is also a very creative energy. She inspires continuously. She's constantly pregnant. Those that are ruled under the influence of the Empress um, will have certain artistic gifts um, <clears throat> that maybe to society, mainstream society, you would seem kind of weird because you, you kind of take on an interest and you kind of can keep doing it for forever and you could talk about it forever. And or you just are very connected. You know those people that you see talking to themselves on the street? Um, I've pulled cards, especially when you see women do that. I've pulled cards on them, and the Empress shows up. The, they're talking to the Empress. So um, the Empress energy is a very wide, vast, broad energy that a lot of us, we only get like this small amount of it, and there's so much more to the Empress. And so she brings messages of calmness. She wants you to be calm. She wants you to be happy, and she wants you to embrace yourself fully. She wants you to see your beauty. She wants you to see that you're ever expansive and that you cannot be put in a cage. You cannot be boxed in, that you are continuously growing and that there is, <clears throat> there's no box for you. There's no container for you, okay? So, um, she brings messages today and she's been wanting to bring messages for a while, but I'm finally gonna let her speak through me today. And um, I feel like if you clicked on this, I don't feel like I know that if you clicked on this then this message is for you okay so take it as it is believe in yourself know that there's no stopping you there's there's it, it, you're boundless you're limitless okay and um, yeah so let's get into it so I'm gonna start with the runes I'm finally gonna start all right so <laughs> let's hear the messages or See what messages the Empress has for us, okay? 
So I try to keep it to two. Alright, so we have... I don't know the names of these rooms. I just know what they look like. So we have this thunder room thingy. Okay. And then... We also have... I think this is noons or something like that. I used to read for... I used to... I know this one, okay? So, um, first we're gonna read for the little thunderbolt. <laughs> I know this seems really odd for some of you guys, because I usually know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm just trying something different. Okay, so, this is called Sowulu, right? Or Sigil, Sun. And this is the rune sacred to Bader, the beautiful god of the solar wheel. A rune of health, wealth, and happiness, and contact with one's higher self. Now is the time to use the sun's energy for regeneration and reveal secrets that are hidden. Oh my god, my spirit guides. Um, other meanings include creativity, guidance, particularly of sailor, spiritual power to resist disintegration, um, the light of the world, and the positive beneficial magic. Okay, so <clears throat> that is the first message with Solu. These always tie in at the end of the reading, you'll see. And then this is Hagalaz. Hagalaz, okay? Is it? That's Hagalaz, right? That looks like Hagalaz. All right. Okay, um. I'm just gonna double check that that's Hagalas. Yep, that's Hagalas. Okay, so um, this rune kind of has a little bit of a darker connotation. So, <clears throat> a sacred rune to Hydel, the watcher of the Moor Good, keeper of the icy bridge to the underworld. A rune that warns of illness. Hagel means hail and is symbolic of uncontrolled and destructive forces. It is a time of upheaval, upheaval, discord, and disruption, and general bad luck. There will be setbacks and problems, all which need to be endured in order to come through on the other side. Now that is really dark, right? Um, but I, I think they're trying to warn you about anticipating things. Maybe some strife, um, maybe some unhappiness. And I normally don't deliver messages like this, but there's a reason for this. Okay, so, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, start. So, one room talks about being who you are, embracing yourself fully, you know, um, show, speaking up as to who you are. Well, another room talks about destructive forces, right? So, I'm going to pull, <laughs> whoa, I'm going to pull an or uh, a tarot card. Actually, I think they want me to pull an oracle card for each one, right? And I'm gonna pull the, they're, they're saying Mystical Shaman Oracle. So, <sighs> okay, so, let's have a look at what the Empress, what message. The Empress has from this deck when it comes to the Sun Room, right? And then what message the Empress has when it comes to this Hagalaz Room. Okay, I want to start with Hagalaz, but I should probably. I'm gonna start with Hagalaz. All right. Um. So we have the Eagle number sixteen. Okay. And then we also have the Circle. Wow, okay, this is pretty, this is pretty intense, okay? The eagle speaks of people and wise, you know, wise people kind of telling you stuff that you, you know, maybe you don't want to hear it or you don't want to deal with it, but it's important for you to hear it and deal with it because it's actually, I'm hearing it's saving you from something. So, um... This could have to do with putting something to an end, but I also feel like this has to do with whatever it is that you're being told to reveal. 
um, or something that you're being told to just let out and not keep a secret because I feel as though that that will be the consequence quote unquote if you don't put yourself out there okay all right because it needs to get out anyways all right so let's read for the circle number eight all right so Unification, interconnectedness, and a sense of continuum is what is was what this card implies. The circle reminds us that we are all one, dancers in a unified, continuous, inclusive circle. This card reminds us of the cycles of life and evolving self, ever-changing and always connected human, nature, spirit, and the cosmos, all intrinsically connected. Wow, okay. When the circle appears, it reminds you that you are connected to everything and everyone, including to spirit. Spirit's essence beats in your heart and inspires you to co-create your world, knowing that you count, that you have purpose in this world. Imagine even a smile, even to, even a smile to a stranger can change the course of a life. Oh, crap. When the circle invites you to dance on the s sacred steps of life, know that your work, your love, your service brings greater value than you can know. Stay the course, keep dancing, and all will be well. Okay, so I feel as though... Um, this is the message of the rune. These two messages, these two runes are very much connected, right? Where there's something that you're being told to to um, speak up about or say something about. Perhaps to a large group of people, perhaps to just maybe your family, to a partner, to maybe one person in particular. There's something that you need to um, say something because I feel like it, it's gonna save a life okay it's gonna save a life and it you'd be surprised whose life it saves or you'd be surprised whose life it changes whoa okay and then we have for the other room she's in her room and then we have for the other room we have um the corn right wow you guys have such an interesting reading today I don't know why my camera's still going on. So we have the corn, right? This is an interesting card too. All right. <clears throat> so I feel like we're in the middle of the medicine, and we're also with the um, we're with the medicine aspect of this rune, but then we're also with the invitation of the rune. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip for flip to number ten. The corn. All right, corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible, and tangible abundance. This symbol represents material prosperity in the world of forms that provide stability and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. Okay, you planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in moments when you're losing faith, you continued. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is so gorgeous. Oh my God, some of you guys have really busted your ass. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this and show you a bountiful harvest. This is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust. Whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity. You are so blessed. When this symbol appears, don't forget to share your good fortune. You guys, I really feel like Whatever it is that you are being asked or you're being guided to open up about or share or talk about, not only will it save someone's life, but or not only I'm hearing for some of you guys, it will save someone's life or and it also save a relationship, but it will also it also will increase your abundance. OK. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't wait to get the tarot cards where I'm super comfortable. Everybody knows I love tarot cards. And I don't know nothing about these other stuff. <laughs> I do, but I just, I like tarot. But you should branch out. Runes are really cool. Okay, so. <clears throat> I hope you're following me and you're staying with me. <laughs> this is who I am, you guys. I've been this way ever since I was little. Okay. <clears throat> Stay tuned to the end. Alright, so. I want to get some tarot cards on this message. Let's hear more of what the Empress has to say. Okay. I 
hate when he comes in my room and leaves the door open. This drives me insane. All right, so. Okay, so we have justice. A lot of you guys are getting ready to receive some sort of justice. And this is what this corn energy is. It could be justice in the form of friendships, relationships. Also, I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, it's money, it's financial, it's material support forever. They're saying till the end of your days. Something that you are being urged to open up about. For some of you guys, this could be a business idea. For some of you guys, it could be who you are, right? It could be who you are. Um, maybe you cover yourself, right? For some of you guys, it's, you know, a, a hidden talent that you have, which is always really cool and amazing to find out about someone. Um, for others of you guys, it's a relationship. It's some of you guys are pregnant. Um, you know, there is something that, you know, maybe for some reason you want to keep it to yourself. You just feel like I want to hold on to this. I don't want to share this, but you're being guided to share it and be open because the the results of not doing it are actually really negative if you don't do it but that's not spirit's not going to tell you not to not to do or to do something because if you don't spirit's not like or else you know so it must be pretty dire okay it must be pretty dire it must be one of those things that if you don't say it if you don't say it, i will you know that sort of thing so i feel like for some of you guys this could be one of those things that you have to say it or it's going to come out anyways, okay? And it's better that it comes from your mouth as opposed to, you know, maybe something happening and it's terrible and um, you can't, you it rev or, you know, you can't go back from it. Or, you know, maybe if you decide to, you know, change professions or something, you know, there's so many, there's a million different reasons Spirit's saying why um, you need to say something, okay? They're saying that there's something faded that you need to say. It's on your chest. A lot of you guys know what this is. Some of you guys, it's like an idea. It's some sort of business that you want to start on. And um, maybe it's a little risque. Or for some of you guys, I'm hearing it's cliche, right? And you're like, I don't want to do it. But you need to do it. You need to do this. Because you're going to do it anyways. And it's like, I think my spirit guides are trying to get at... And I'm getting nervous. They're trying to get at the fact that if you don't say it, if you don't do it, it'll be done for you. And I don't think you'll like something like this being done for you. You'll always be grateful for it in the end, but it'll be done for you, okay? So whatever this is, it's, try, it's going to bring in, this is bringing in a shit ton of abundance. It's bringing in a lot of um, security, stability um, in the form of friendship, in the form of relationships, in the form of money, okay? in the form of a life purpose for some of you guys. This is really beautiful. I'm going to get a clarifier, my guides are saying, <clears throat> on these cards, on this justice energy. But it's this is definitely something that's very abundant in nature. The Three of Swords, okay? So what this is, is this is something that I feel like for a lot of you guys, whatever this business idea is or whatever this thing that you're going to come right out and say, is it's something that has plagued you for a long time it's something that has been important to you for a very long time it's it's something that with the three of swords it's followed you it's it's not new okay whether you found out like today or yesterday or three days ago that you've always had this you've always felt this so come right out and say it and the justification and the rewards are with the hierophant i feel like for a lot of you guys there could be certain ways of being that are too rigid for you that you'll be freed from. It, it could be some of you guys could be marriages that you're in, job situations that you're in that are not designed for you, that need to go anyways. And you're, you're actually helping and aiding and ushering in a new world order just by you choosing to be more authentically yourself. Okay? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this abundant though, it's like this abundance though, it is like, it's right, it's right away. Okay. It's not like, it's not like in a hundred years, this abundance, cause you put in the work already, whatever this is, you have done a lot of work to get to where you are now. 
and it's like you're gonna see the rewards from it but you can only see the rewards if and when you just start stop hiding and you come right out and you just say it okay so um let's have another look at this the the next tarot card we have the queen of pentacles so I feel like a lot of you guys, this is financial, this is material. This will definitely impact your material world in a major, in a massive way, whatever this is. This is going to impact your material world crazy. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys, I'm hearing like you're not going to work the way you used to anymore. Some of you guys, you, you won't work anymore. The Nine of Cups, this is going to bring you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. You're going to be very satisfied with your life and satisfied with what you're doing for your life. Like... You know, I feel like with the Five of Swords, you have been very much cheated in life. Oh, this breaks my heart. You have been very much cheated and jaded in life, and it wasn't your fault. And I feel like a lot of you guys have taken on whatever this burden is as your own fault, and it's not your fault. And this is an opportunity for you to stand proud as who you are. Or stand proud in what you believe in and what you want to do with your life and do it because <clears throat> you did not make yourself the way that you made yourself but you have a responsibility to be yourself okay so that's a really beautiful message I really like this I'm a little nervous you know kind of nerve nerves you know trying to say because ooh. but I think a lot of you guys are anticipating failure when you do this. And for, for some of you guys, you know, you could get a little bit of backlash, but it's not something that you've never experienced before. And the and the 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 forward lash, I guess I could say, or just the positive things that you're gonna hear or you're gonna get back from it, it's so much gonna override, like over overwhelmingly override the backlash. You're not even prepared for the response that you're gonna get. It's so positive what you're gonna get back, okay? And you just embracing yourself fully and doing what it is that you a lot of you guys want to do so, do it do it all right oh my god the will of fortune and the high priestess oh my god this is faded okay this is a time of karmic rewards this is a time of abundance jupiter i feel like jupiter coming through with the purse strings jupiter coming through with the coin the coin purse you know when you know your mom with the coin purse and her wallet and you know, every day before school, she'd bring out like a little bit of money, you know, before you went to school. That's Jupiter coming around, you know, dishing out some stuff and it's some good stuff. I mean, the nine of cups, nine to house energy is Jupiterian, right? And this is the nine of cups. This is abundance. This is having a overflow. This is having a surplus. And a lot of you guys are going to start to live in, in surplus as opposed to in scarcity. I feel like a lot of you guys have lived in scarcity for too long and you don't understand how much your life has been limited. Oh my God, my spirit guides are in my air right now. I feel like some of you guys, bro, you have been living in scarcity. You have been living in scarcity and it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. And like, you were just really cheated. You really were cheated. It wasn't a, a fair start. And by you making this choice that you're, you need to make, right? You're gonna make it anyway. It's <laughs> like, by you making this choice, you are opening up your life in a way that has never been open before. I mean, I feel like before you used to be very frustrated and you used to struggle a lot and you used to be frustrated inside of yourself and frustrated with the world and, and you thought that that was normal, right? And Or you thought that maybe your career choice, maybe you thought that the, working the job you had or having the relationship that you had, maybe you thought that you had to struggle like that. But no, what this is actually doing is it's allowing this, this old paradigm it needs to die. It doesn't need to be blown up so it can be rebuilt again. It needs to literally die and never come back to life. You know, you're going through a death and a transformation that... You're, you're never going to be the same person again. And I feel like the person that you were, it wasn't who you really were. And that's why you were so dissatisfied in life. And now, or so dissatisfied in your relationships, so dissatisfied in your financial situation. Because you were never supposed to really even be there. I mean, you were there because of karma. And so you could conclude cycles. But actually, that really was never destined for you. And that's why they're saying you were cheated. Okay? Um... Wow, these, these, these messages are very strong. They're a little overwhelming for me. Okay, so we have the Empress here. A lot of you guys are beautiful Empresses, whether you're a man or a woman, you're an Empress. It doesn't matter, you could be a man and be an Empress. 
Okay, you are very gifted. You have a lot of, you have insane amount of creative gifts. Um, you're, you're probably really, really smart. Or you're really, really funny. You're a really, really beautiful person. You're very caring, very nurturing, very gifted. The Empress is also a great witch. Okay, she's a really good occultist. Um, what else? This woman is, or this energy is very nurturing. It's very motherly. It's just like, it's it's an energy that is that is giving. And, and the world takes from this energy and doesn't even realize that they're taking from her every day. And sometimes, most times, you don't even thank the Empress for the stuff that she gives us. And that's, a lot of you guys have these traits You've been blessed with her qualities. And now the Empress wants to shine through. She's tired of being put in the background. That's what I'm hearing. She's tired of being suppressed. She wants to shine. And she's going to shine whether you let her shine or not. But you're having the perfect opportunity with these messages from the Empress message. Like you listening to this and you watching this. You're having the perfect opportunity to shine for her. You know, because she's going to shine anyway. She's tired of being hidden. All right, she wants to step out in the sun. Beautiful. Oh, the Five of Swords reverse. She just, I feel like a lot of you guys, it has been such a battle trying to suppress this part of you. It has been such a battle trying to suppress your desires and your dreams and your ambitions. And um, no more. You're coming out of that with the world here and the King of Cups and the High Priestess. Oh my god, and then the, guess what's behind it? The Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, right? Listen, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to embrace ourselves. We're going to accept ourselves. We're going to love ourselves. That's it. You are the world. That is amazing. This is such a beautiful reading. I wasn't expecting this message, but when am I ever expecting a message? And I'm honestly thinking about how I'm going to edit this because that's how my mind works. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm freaking out about that. Okay, but this was such a beautiful message. So, you know, you got to reveal something. I hope you got the message that I, I gave with the sun rune, right? <clears throat> something wants to be revealed. Okay, something wants to be per expressed, whether it's a creative gift, it's creative ability I'm hearing. It's a psychic ability. A lot of you guys on this channel, you're psychically gifted, and that's why you're drawn to this channel. Um, whether it is, you know, your, even your sexual orientation. Some of you guys, it's time to stop playing yourself. It's time to be who you are. I'm not even playing with you right now. All right, it's time to be who you are. And the Empress is ready. She's gonna, ex she's gonna unleash herself. You can unleash her or she'll unleash herself because she's ready, okay? Oh my god, but, some of, but uh, most of you guys here, you guys all have beautiful gifts. Like, you're hiding it because you're so indoctrinated, but really, your gifts are so beautiful. Like, why would you hide this anyway? I mean, I know why you would, but like, damn. I mean, we have Malachite, right? Prosperity. They're saying this is your card. I know how I pulled it, but this is your card prosperity so whatever this is even if it's changing your you know being open about hey you know i'm gay like doing that um hello you when you embrace yourself fully you know how many doors you open you better go ahead and be who you are okay there is a shift a positive shift in your flow of divine support with prosperity and then aquamarine being down here your divine life purpose is attached to whatever this is. You guys better go on ahead. You guys better go on ahead and be who you are. Because your divine life purpose is associated with the part of you or with this new business that you want to start. Or with, you know, maybe you, ch you know, being honest about your sexual orientation. Being honest about, hey, you know what, maybe you're married and you're like, I don't want to be married to you anymore. I met someone else or I'm in love with someone else. It doesn't matter. You need to free yourself from the shackles of society. Because if you don't, the Empress is going to free herself for you. And it's going to be a little bit of a havoc when she does it. Okay? So, that's what I have for you guys. Like I said, stay tuned to the end. Right? So, you guys, this is something I never told anybody. Well, not that I've never really told anybody. Everybody around me pretty much kind of knows. I kind of guess whatever you guys I'm autistic okay so that is me 
and I have never been open about it but I'm gonna just be open about it on my channel it's my channel I'm literally shaking I'm sweating right now I'm sweating right now I am and I'm not gonna hide myself anymore and I'm not going to mask myself anymore um, this is who I am and God made me this way and I love myself and um, it's really hard for me to come out but this is me so you know you can love me you can hate me you can take it or you can leave it that's your choice but um, I'm gonna come out and just say it I am autistic okay and so just be who you are and embrace who you are and yeah I'm I don't know what to say it's like a part of like it's a part of being autistic you don't really you struggle with communication you struggle with speaking and um, I kind of like don't know what to say sometimes um, and especially with this, this is something that really makes me nervous and anxious, but this is me. So, <sighs> I just came around and said it. I had no idea I was actually going to do this. I was just going to film a, um, a messages from the Empress reading because my guides wanted me to film this. And I didn't even want to even address this. It's something that I've been sitting on for a little bit, but... And it's been kind of driving me a little crazy, but whatever, I've always been this way. It's just, it's weird that there's a name for it to me. And it's just weird that that's the name for it. Um, but whatever, I'm just going to come out and just be who I am. All right. So that's all. That's all I really feel comfortable about talking about right now when it comes to this. Maybe later I'll talk about it more, but not now. I'm just kind of. I'm a little shy, and that's just a part of it. So, yeah, <laughs> that's what I have for you guys. I'm the spiritual Barbie. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I guess enjoy your time coming out. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. I hope it's not too many because I'm really shy. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I guess enjoy your day. <laughs> And thank you so much for joining me and watching me. I hope you check out the other videos on the channel. God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.